Let's talk about freight. FOB means freight on board or free on board. What does that mean? That means that it is free all the way to the destination or it is free only to the shipping point. So two terms, FOB destination or FOB shipping point. Let's think of it from the receiver's point of view. We are the retail store. If something is shipped to us, FOB destination, here's the manufacturer, here's the wholesaler, here's us, the retailer. If something, here's the shipping point, they're shipping something to us, the destination point. If it's free all the way to the destination point, who's paying the shipping, us or the shipper? The shipper's paying it because it's free all the way to the destination. In other words, if it's FOB destination, we don't have to worry about it. We're not paying the shipping. The only thing we have to worry about shipping is if it's FOB shipping point. That means it's only free to the wholesaler, but then we have to pay the freight from them to us. The way I remember it is whatever it says after FOB, the opposite of that thing is paying the freight. If it's FOB destination, the shipper's paying for it. If it's FOB shipping point, the destination person is paying for it. Okay? Now, how does that affect us as far as our price? Well, typically, let's use that example that we just had. If we have a list price of $400 and shipping is an additional fifty dollars heavy something heavy and we're getting a twenty five percent trade discount the first thing to remember is we're not going to get a discount on that fifty dollars because it's the shipper it's the wholesaler that we're in the trade of that's what they have control over the prices that's what they can discount to us Normally, they're going to do us a favor. Instead of sending it COD where we have to stand around and wait for that thing to arrive with a check, they're going to pay that third-party shipper. They're going to add it to our bill. And they're going to say, you owe us $450. They're going to say, you owe us $450, which includes $50 shipping. So when there's a situation like that, what we have to do is we have to say, you know, before I take the discount, I'm going to have to take that shipping out of there. So I'm going to subtract the $50 shipping and say, here's my list price. I'm going to knock 25% off of that. By the way, if you have a simple calculator, try punching in 400 minus 25 percent and that should give you 300 and that's the net price and then we'd have to add that shipping on top of that because that was not discounted so we would write the check to the shipper for 350 dollars 300 dollars as the net price on that 400 dollar list item plus 50 dollars shipping so if they stated it as $400 plus $50 shipping, we'd do this and add 50. If they stated it as 400, which includes $50 of shipping, we'd do 350 minus 25% and then add the 50 back at the end. Just depends how the problem is stated. Just remember, we do not ever get a discount on shipping. 